It could, it could only be Zantaris, right? Major. Yes. Oh my god. How many bullets do you need to miss, sir? That is not what we need to be seeing coming into this round. That does not bode too well. But they do manage to recover it. Shiro with the P250 at range. And, oh, destroyed by x -Floud. That was, um... Did he yeah. accidentally put blanks in the gun? I don't even know where the bullet... He was right in front of him. Where are these going? Why is my gun not working? Still yet to see an approach yet. Oh, second I say it. Here they come. Napoli. Gotta be able to jump over that smoke, finds that open and kills. And terrorist though, good to shut this one down before it gets out of control. That's a very, very quick move coming in from Nafani to try and catch you more, but they're going to get Major in return instead, and now it's a three-on-three, three, but they're running a little bit low on health on the Cloud9 side, so this aggressive buy that they've been doing in the second round, it could fall short. I think Buster's trying to see if he could sneak underneath, and I thought it was successful for a minute there, but the FAMAS is going to be able to find him, and now it's all on Hobbit. One versus three. He's walking up with his back turned. They surely know that someone's still here, but maybe not. Santara's just hiding for a long time behind the sandbags. I could try and do something. He is looking for it. They are boosting up on the other side. There's a smoke in the way. But the first kill got to Axile. It's a classic boost on Vertigo on the other side. And Buster completely blind. Just white it out on that side. But still hitting the headshot. Yeah, simply does not need his eyes. Over on the other side, though, Immor is going to be able to find both Shiro and Napani. As the smoke fades, he finds those two boosting players. Brings us now down to this three versus three. The health advantage is leaning more towards... Oh, Axo, oh, Buster, everyone's taking a lot of damage from that one. Really opens up this... Oh, God, Major, this nade could be absolutely massive, and it is! It's going to explode directly on the head of Buster. He had no hope. 20 seconds on the clock. Hobbit now inside of the corner. I think they know about this one. They're going to swing him. Smoked on out, but Axile's there to be able to help pick up the round. And Oh, my God, he's just sitting in the corner. Doesn't even want to help out his teammate. Instead, just tries to play for the bait. Pushes down, loses 60 HP, finds no information and goes, right, I'm out, never mind. So he's basically weakened himself for no real reason. Axile, it's rare that it takes him that long to be able to find the head of an opponent. Kalex is lucky to get a few shots off before being domed. Nade goes in and there goes Axile. The tag team on that B-bomb site doing work. Oh, they absolutely were. I'm shocked that they're trying to fight Axile in that position to begin with at all. Oh, the spray, it should have been good, but... Major doesn't even see Hobbit on the other side. He's going to be able to catch him, Nafani. Here's the steps and wants to catch somebody backpedaling. It's a pretty good idea, but he probably realizes they're a little bit too far back at that moment. So, going to give it a rest for now. Double Molly closes off the site just a little bit from the CTs. Forces them to be in angles they really don't want to be in. Zanteris is going to try and cover his body as Imor is going to be able to find those two kills onto Shiro and Nafani and basically securing the round there. Buster, the young gun. Only with three frags to his name in round number five. He's going to be looking for three more here to clutch it out and find Cloud9 their first. Bomb on his back. He's going to be able to get it planted or at least just tap it, see what he can force. Here's a drop inside of Elevator. He's now going to stick it. No, he's not. He's tapping once again. And it's, uh, yeah, going to blow up. Hey guys, if you want to upgrade your inventory, make sure to check out Hot Pizza GG. If you haven't played on Hot Pizza yet, make sure to use my promo code VLADAPART to get 50 cents for free, which means you can already open your first case. Also, Hot Pizza added a daily free case, which you can open every 24 hours and get another skin there. If you don't like your skins, you can always try to upgrade them for something you want. Hot Pizza has many cool cases, so if you want to open them, there are different and convenient ways to make a deposit, like credit cards, skins, cryptocurrencies, and many other. Here, as an example, I opened Snowball case for $40 and managed to unbox $228 Huntsman knife. Withdrawing the skin was also super easy. Just go to your inventory, select the skin you want to withdraw, and you will get the trade offer in less than a minute. A link to the website will be in the description below kind of pushing up into mid as everyone else is posted up and running over towards this A-bomb site. Santeris is looking to gun them all down as he spots ahead of Axile. It's not going to be good for the initial spray and does get punished for it as Napani with the Tech-9 does the work. Immor now on the swing using that smoke to his advantage. Should be able to find at least one more here, but everyone's falling back. A nice little read there from Kalex to recognize, okay, guys, we probably haven't seen all of them yet. But also at the same time, Cloud9 are not expecting it. They, they think at some point he's got to be going back and he isn't. Yeah, he unfortunately just walked backwards into the bullets. A little bit unfortunate. 
Nice little flashbang to set up that kill. Kalix is going to be able to do it easily. And he swings for another one. Shiro going down this time. They were trying to wallbang him out of that corner, but he was no longer in it. So a four versus two. And again, you could argue here for Eternal of Fire, if you wanted to pull out the classic playbook, you'd say, just chill out. Maybe they can set something up here, but not on x flow inside a ladder room and taken down your only backup. That's a problem. Buster gonna have to solve this round on his own and give it a good start at it here. Dropping me, get 10 seconds of the bomb and he's not gonna be able to plant it. x Cloud just in position at the right time. Remember they have a 92% win rate on this map. He almost sprayed them both down. It's so close, right? Dropping zero to 28. I mean, he's basically out of the round already, right? I mean, yes, he might be able to get one shot off, but it needs to be the crisp one. X-Cloud and Major. I mean, they've just shut this entire approach on the B-bomb site down. And Shiro, the low HP player, actually being the final person on the approach. Looks like he's going to attempt to save here, but Imor, yeah, he's ready for it. Swings onto the corner. They find the eighth. The half has been won already from Eternal Fire. And he gets taken down without even seeing anyone on the other side of those smokes the double nade went in we are now going to be seeing this stack this setup over towards b with just calyx holding on waiting spots out heads of multiple with buster sends him all the way down to the bottom floor with that 1d and looking for this bomb plant they're looking for that pure consolation i don't think cloud nine are going to be able to win this one but if they can get that down at least it gives them some more money to work with moving into round number 10 but this retake now with the smoke down could be a little bit more difficult than I was originally alluding to. Yeah, especially with the Tech-9 up close, that does make it interesting. There's no flank coming through this time. It's just going to be a forceful retake coming in on the side. They do have the smokes and everything else. Hobbit is there with the Mac 10 He's going to be going down, and a good clear of that E-Box is going to make sure that... Well, the vent make sure that nobody is up close. So, Buster, he's going to be found with a headshot through the wall, but either way, they would have been able to bodyguard that defuse, no problem. Great retake. I feel like on some of the other maps we've been seeing you more obviously the one to do that so um we saw it with wrinkle um with fate right the fact that wow that was insane from shiro where if he's just having good games on a rifle then give the all pipe to someone else yeah keep it going why not i mean he has been playing very well you more so maybe they're just feeling it shiro will find another one but major up on that uh boost to the back and he's gonna be able to get one they're just trading their way in which is gonna be favoring the Cloud9 side, although he's waiting for this HE. Hopefully, is going to be nowhere nearby. Only 15 seconds on the clock, and they're just patient. Major has the other one. There's the first nade landing. Buster, he should be able to get this bomb plant. No! Just does enough damage for it. There's Three no seconds left. They will be able to get the bomb plant, I think, but oh. there's no way out here. Axile, he's going to get sprayed down. The grenades right now, the utility usage. If they do that, though, I mean, Eternal Fire probably still quite happy, but it, it'll have this weird aftertaste to it where you feel like, well, we could have almost ended the game, but now it's still quite open. So I think getting the rest is important. Deep nade onto Emo. That was an absolute touchdown. Anything you can do, I can do better from Buster there. Fair enough. Here comes the push. The swing. Exile going to be able to take down the lower HP than Terrace. Looking for a couple more here as well, but time of the round. This could go from looking pretty good to looking very questionable. Emor is going to go down next. Five versus three. They do have two people at the bomb site, so maybe they could do something. That was a nice molly, though. Kind of splits the uh, splits the squad up for Cloud9. Only 30 seconds remaining, and looks like they are going to be waiting just a few moments to be able to execute. Mollies and smokes going down, just to be able to cut the site in half. Alex inside of mid picks up Exile. No lurk for you, good sir. x -Flout. up close. Spots out Hobbit, I think. The head's been found, but Hobbit's going to be good for the good for the kill. Major for the swing. Shiro, I mean, he kills his teammate in the process, but he gets the kill either way. Sacrificial lamb and... And a smoke on Zenteris as well as the flash goes out. Hobbit needs to find this opening kill inside of mid. Does indeed do it. Now with that man advantage. Oh, he looks away at just the wrong moment. And that one is going to be good for the kill. But the backup there for Zentaris. Nay comes in post-mortem, but he's going to be safe for now. Position given up. Rotate here from Kallax. Needs to find this kill on Axile, but it's not going to happen. And now this is looking almost certain for this 10-5 half. Unless we see something miraculous here from Zentaris. Shiro says no. They only have one flash to try and get rid of him. And there's Axile clearing the corner. This is his playground over at the B-bomb site. A lot of damage dealt, though. Major inside of mid looking to do some work. But Hobbit on the boost does get taken down after finding one kill. Major still inside of this smoke on the site. They have no idea he's here. And he's going to be the linchpin for this round. Axile's incredibly low. He's waiting for his team to come out. Oh, my God, what was that? 
from Axile. The no scope, the flick, that was insane. But I do think it's going to be too little too late. There's no damaging util here. He needs to swap to the pistol. Both players incredibly low. 32 HP between the both of them with 15 seconds on the clock to bomb in no man's land. This needs to be an insane 4K from Axile for him to be able to close this one out and find himself a fifth round. Another no scope for the flick is not going to be possible for the final one. That got way too close for comfort. You can see it on Eternal Fire's face. They're going to take this break to kind of reset the mental. And so are we. We'll be back after this. Let's see is going to see us once again. Cloud9 looking for this setup. It's a pretty large stack over towards A. They've read it well. Oh my God, they love chucking nades everywhere, Eternal Fire. Nafni had no chance to be able to swing. I don't think he got his smoke down. Shiro, now with the jewelies boosted up. Buster on the side angle. It's Shiro to buy on the opener. God, these jewelies finding kills left, right, and center. x though, ensuring that frag can be still found for the Eternal Fire side. I mean, he's got a smoke to play with here. Might be able to get this bomb planted. They're going to need to right now. I mean, might not. For now it's definitely not going to be possible. Xflad sent out of the bomb site again. And like you pointed out, the Julie is just doing way too much work. He's going to try and make a run for it. A bomb plant would be nice, but his rotation time is much, much longer than it is for the Cloud9 CTs now. Please go mid to way. Certainly. And it's, you know, in spite of that, they get beat up really badly in the first half. If you look at the scoreboard, it's not like they're completely missing. It's not like no, no. it's not like there's someone who's just not doing anything at all here. Axel's gonna wait for time, I think. No, no, he can't. Yeah, gotta make sure. Gotta make sure. Although that would be the the ace if he could ever do that. That would have been sick if he could have been, uh, yeah, just waited it out. Not so much for the CTs, though. No, that's pretty dire. It's a nade from Chiro, but he's nowhere to be seen right now. Here comes the flashes, but who needs you till we find the opening kill like that? Great trade back from Kalex and Xplow. Should have been dead to rights there. Simply not going to be the case. Buster now from the back lines with the less than optimal weaponry in the form of the Famous. Good on, smoke go. and Molotov combo there for Emo to make sure he get the bomb plant down and nobody could really rush him. So quite interesting. Oh, the flash is that immaculate though. And they're going to be catching Emo dead to right out of the edge of the building. x practically dead already. Mage are going to try and do some more <laughs> jumping. Fair enough. The bullets Fair in the corner. Enough. Oh no. Nafani making himself a really hard target. And they're straight on that defuse with the kit and all. Oh, what a retake coming in from Cloud9. That's the seventh round. And I think that is going to be the real momentum change in this game. Seconds are just about. Oh, going to be a smoke up there. It's pretty good timing for the smoke. The grenade, though, was a little bit early, but. Um, They'll try and boost on the other side. Again, classic maneuver. Got to be real dangerous, Axile. This is what you love to do. He's going to be ready for it, but... Emor will find the headshot on the Deagle, and now it's a little bit tricky. Six seconds on the clock. Buster's going to get that one, and that's the end of the round. They could not have picked up the bomb. Even if Buster dies there, they're not going to be able to win it. Expended over towards eight. Still quite a bit more available for this T side, but they've got a clear Shiro. Don't peek him. You can't peek him. You know how good he is on this angle. Especially I mean, any angle on the side. That defensive orping from Shiro could just be very impressive at times, so I agree. Got to find a way to get rid of him with the utility instead. Counterflashes are coming out with the spray from Hobbit. It looked like it was going to be genius. He will just get the one kill. Nafani got the other one. And Shiro is there for a little flick. Emo, nothing he can do in this one. Save the AWV if you can. You're going to need it for the next round. Just five more rounds is what they need, but I think those five rounds are going to be very hard to find. Five more. Oh, All right. Okay, he's fine. He's fine for now. So what this has done has opened up the opportunity for Cloud9 to force a rotate through. Yeah. Hobbit's on this backside angle. But he's probably dead. They, they're going to Molotov this out, surely. He doesn't have a smoke or anything. Buster trying to help out. There's no Molotov back here. They had the grenades for it. And as a result, instead, Hobbit's going to get a couple of kills. Shiro will show up. And suddenly, with 15 seconds left, it's a two-on-two. -two. Get in that kill. x Cloud. They're in the corner. He's going to jump right down and try and get the spray. Eight seconds here. Major, you go straight for it. If you get peaked, you're probably dead. But instead, he'll successfully plant the bomb. And now he's got the AWP out. Oh, he's walking right into it. Buster is dead. Major taking the initiative and winning the round. Finally on the second half. Don't even know what Nafani was doing in that position. Seems like a very strange uh, call. To, he tried to flash himself in earlier and then... Now, just waiting around here with the AWP is Shiro. Very low health on the Kalex on the other side. So technically a three on three, but they're going to be real careful about planting the bomb here if they are not sure. 
Oh, a little bit of a swing. Major actually gets Axile. They get the wow. kill on Shiro. Somehow, the three on three turned into a one versus three instead. And it is just Buster who's left. I don't think he can do this easily. They're going to double peek him and Eternal Fire <laughs> celebrations. They should be. This is a massive round. Not only winning it on the back of that Evox and Terra. So many bodies to find through that smoke. Can't see what's going on. As an inkling that there's someone there. Axile could have gone absolutely ballistic there. But instead, he only finds finds the air on the spam of that MP9. Three versus three with low HP on Kalex and Zenteris. This is very much winnable now for Cloud9. Yeah, it is, especially the low health there causing a little bit of an issue. They're running it down while the bomb is being planted. They did get planted though. Shiro gonna be able to get that one kill. x Cloud trying to escape, but he can't. And on the other side, they do not have the defuse kit, so they need to come and find Santaris here. So risky to try and go for a 10 second defuse, but they'll do it anyway. And Santaris, he's in an awkward angle. He can't shoot through the box here. They're on it already, and he thinks they might be faking it, but this is gonna be a full on 10 second defuse. Santaris just never saw it coming. Maybe never Never heard it to begin with. They're kind of out of nades on the CT side. Looks like they want to try and be a little bit aggressive and moving forward here. Hobbit out in the open, huge off angle. Oh, and Nafani goes down on the other side. Hobbit, he's all in on this one, and great headshots are coming through. What a double kill. And a little flick from Cheryl. Now they're favored, or he's going to duck back down, take out Kalix, and spins for the third. Santaris gets blown up, but again, the defensive opening of Shiro. They flipped the cone success. Oh, no. oh they didn't, not quite. Grenade down. It's gonna be blowing up X-Floud and just more damage coming through. 11 to 13, the scoreline, and Cloud9 are, they're really getting warmed up here. Hobbit getting even more kills, a triple for him, and Nafferty will find the last one. Very quick round, quickly dispatching off the T side. You get an aid, you get an aid, you get an aid. Everyone gets an aid. Just this is, anything at the moment will do. This is a much more aggressive angle from Shiro than what we've seen historically. Usually back onto the site, we saw it earlier as well, missing that first shot, has to fall back, and oh, he falls back at just the wrong moment. I think one more second, he would have spotted someone out. Nafani gonna be able to find that kill once Zentera as he goes through that smoke. Buster now on the swing, bodied by a more. Shiro, defensive warping coming out once again as Axile finds x on the rotation. The sideline angle from both players, Nafani, Shiro, he didn't know where to look. They're going to be able to find the kills, and that's going to be another round on the board for Cloud9. Fall back, and so I don't give you that opportunity. It's a MAC-10 and two Tech-9s as the util is now expended. Here comes the smoke from Axo, different position once again, and now the push coming on out. But flashes galore. They let them fade before they even execute here, not using them to their full advantage, and Nafani's going to be able to pick up one. Axile lining up both of them, but it's only going to be good for that first kill. It's a terrorist. <laughs> Tapping him down, Axile and Nafani out of the server already. So the Mac 10 is back, but now he's got a 556 five, bullet in the head from the M4. Top of the smoke looked like slight one way there, favoring Emor and Axile. That you have to put a lot of faith in that flashbang. Emor's gonna find another shot. And they're just getting completely destroyed. Talk about flipping the script. I mean, that was a very convincing round for Cloud9 in the previous. I mean, sure, it came down to a couple of 1v2s. The techs found a lot of damage, but early on, they were able to find a lot of these kills. This round, they found absolutely nothing. They barely seen anyone. No one's taken damage. To be fair, though, to Cloud9, it's, it's obviously an attempt to try and, and actually change the pace of the game, right? They've been very, very defensive all over the map. They haven't been pushing the B stairs. They haven't been pushing the A ramp that much. And this is what they were trying to change. They were trying to say, let's see if we can catch Eternal Fire sleeping. Just get the kill. Nice, nice and clean. I mean, no, I want him to knife as well, but I feel like they're, uh, they're a little bit on edge if, uh, if he even thinks to go for that. It's completely blind. Hobbit blind as well. The site has been cut in half, and they're going to start beginning pushing through the smoke. They want to start a single chance here. Bomb goes down, boosted inside a con. Hobbit's going to be able to find the opening kill. Shot there from Axel. Not going to be able to find that one. Hobbit with a second through the smoke once again from Major. Love this angle from Kalex. Imor going to be able to find one onto Buster as well. Now on the three versus three with an Orp and two M4s, and Kalex finding that kill. It's looking good for Eternal Fire. Need to go massive now to Shiro and Nafani. We know he's good, but he's not going to be able to find that kill inside of mid. Shiro. Misses the shot as a 15th round. We're guaranteed at least an OT. This could be the first steps heading into overtime. Hobbit, all right, off top of the smoke. That's normally something you do at the beginning of a round, but doing it a little bit later on catches x -Floud. It was a full HP player as well. x out of the round, and now you've still got a Moore who's down onto 23 points of HP. 
Thankfully for Eternal Fire, though, all of these kills are kind of been in their half of the map, so these AKs aren't going to be able to be recovered. But the damage has basically already been done. If we see a 1D here come out, then maybe, just maybe, the round's over and done with. And that's exactly what we're going to be seeing. Buster finding those two. And he's going to be looking for a more for the third and final one. But it's Nafani from the sidelines, a low HP player. And look at the elation on Hobbit's face. He realizes that, guys, that was way too close. We've been given a lifeline. Let's go to OT. Got to say, Imor has been a god as well as opening the A ramp. He's been getting so many fights in his favor over there. He's got 25 kills. And a lot of them have been on this T side trying to get the entries. That flank is going to be coming through, so you have to be really, really worried right now for Eternal Fire, even if they're a man up. But let's see if the bombsite can even hold here. Shiro will get the kill, but he's going to get overrun, and Hobbit throws his life away trying to get there. They need to stay alive so that Buster's flank could do something, and now they are going to be looking for it. Santaris, he realizes even if he dies, the trade should be there. Buster, he's going to get the headshot. Actually, an Emo who ran in there, but now it's all on Axile. One versus two, and a little bit dangerous here. He's low on health, and Major will take him down. First run over time, it goes to Eternal Fire. Don't think he can just stay in this position at all. Obviously gets found out through the boxes as well. Wow. Expecting Shiro on that jump up. Not going to be expecting the second the former Hobbit though. Great flash about to connect on the three. And Hobbit's looking for heads as he finds himself too. Kallax and Xplow taken down on the sidelines in this round. The spam continues through the smoke. And Buster, while low, still going to be able to do some work. Bomb is planted. It's now the onus on the CT side of Cloud9's about to win this one. Hobbit. Orp in hand, looking for these angles, which as of right now, he simply cannot find. There's only two kits available. Hobbit's not committed into one here. Should be enough for Buster and Axile to be able to win it, though. There's no util on either side. The smokes are now going to begin fading. The site's going to be completely dry. Are we going to be seeing a swing here? Hobbit through the smoke. Axile as well. Hello. Comes alive towards the end to be able to find those two for that second half of OT1. But they currently man, they're currently a man down. A lot of their util has already been used. Nathany does take quite a lot of damage, but he's still alive and kicking. And even with one HP, he's gonna be able to do a lot of work. Shiro finds that opening kill onto Major as they begin executing out onto A. He's looking for a second as well. The defensive warping of Shiro is next to none. He's absolutely brilliant truly is and look at how he's beating the smokes they put so down nice. so many grenades to stop him from having any scope available and he just runs through the smoke they actually did see him as well you know, that's the closest person's buster on 25 oh. finding a couple more but axile look oh. to open us up trying to find a second here a major as well and he is indeed going to be good for that one xplout a little bit of util for him to be able to use if he wishes but axile okay this is more like it this is what we expected to see from it yes we were missing this in regulation we've had a couple of people talk about it known sensationalist maui snake has been calling him the best rifle of 2023 but um you know you see stuff like that and you can get a sense of maybe why it's not that sensationalist after all Santaris goes down emo gonna get cracked as well and that's 18 to 16 two chances right now that something is happening on the other side and one good flash around the corner hobbit yeah he's gonna mo use the monotop instead he wants to take this fight He's feeling so confident in his mechanics right now. Instead, it's Axile to pick up the kill on Emo. So back into a four on four. Still plenty of time for Cloud9 to do something, although they are all at the bomb site. A boost up, and that's interesting. Nice kill onto Axile, and a very, very fortunate jump back into safety for Santaris. And it's only safety for a second. Yeah, Hobbit's going to be able to swing onto it and punish him. Three, think about holding that angle. Hobbit finds one more as well. Now in this three versus two, the spams continue, but Kallax just goes for the swings, about to find that kill. And now with a low HP Hobbit, Shiro on 100 HP, 30 seconds remaining, they're now going to begin positioning themselves over towards that big bomb site. <laughs> but instead of the two versus two, it's now going to be the one versus two as Shiro takes down his CT opponent. Cal Using that audio as the fake. This is really weird, though. Hobbit is at the bomb side. The bomb's on the other side. And Calyx, I think he'll be able to hear the running. Maybe. Might not realize where Hobbit is. He's already got 32 kills, nearly getting the 31st there that he needed to win the round. Oh, the bomb. Is that Molotov going to stop him? Not quite. And there will be a bomb done in the last possible second. One versus two for Calyx. Try and hold on. The orb is right there, and he needs just a bullet on the Hobbit. And maybe he's going to have a crack at it here. Almost getting it. Hobbit out in the open. He does go down finally. He's done enough and Shiro 
Can he finish what he started here? He's hiding out in the open. I don't think Kallix is expecting it at all. And Shiro with the Tech 9 takes him down. It's Cloud9 to pick up the win in overtime. Absolutely grueling matchup here. And Eternal Fire, they're going to remember this one for a long time.